Hey everyone, Rodev here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this really cool status bar that you can update through scripts and it will, it will appear uh, to whatever you set it to for every player in the game. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to stop and show you guys exactly how I made this. So the first thing you want to do is go to replicated storage, click plus, and insert a string a string value just like that and once you have a string value inside you want to click on it go to properties and name it make sure you name it status with a capital s and once you've named it status and by the way if you can't see explorer properties you want to go to view and turn them both on and once you have them both on uh, we can go back here and once you've named it status the next thing you want to do is go to server script service click uh, the drop down if you don't have it and uh, basically just go ahead or if you have it and basically just go ahead and click plus and insert a normal script make sure it's not a module script especially make sure it's not a local script make sure it's a normal script and once you insert this normal script make sure you name it to something like status bar and once you've done that you can open it up so now i'm going to explain uh, what this script does so local rs for rep replicated storage it basically gets the service replicated storage this service right here and then what we do with replicated storage is wait for child and we're waiting for status and remember we've named it status so that goes right there and then after that what we're doing is making a for loop and basically for every number between 45 and 0 and basically we're just going down by one so for every number from 45 to 0 down by one we wait one second and then we make the status dot value equal the number of seconds and then uh, seconds left. So the number of seconds left, and then we're attaching a piece of text that says seconds left. And remember, I is just the number we are on currently between 45 and zero. So the next script we have after that is actually in starter UI. And before you make it, you're gonna have to do a few things. So the first thing you wanna do is hit plus and insert a screen GUI. Once you have your screen GUI, you wanna go ahead and create a text label inside just like this you're going to create a text label and once you have this text label you can move it to the top uh just by you know dragging it around moving it up to the top and once you've moved it to the top you can double click and if that doesn't work you want to click on it go to properties go down to text and then uh, make it something like example text and once you've uh, set it the next thing you want to do is create a ui corner if you want this uh, nice uh you know rounded edge you want to create a ui corner and set set it to one comma zero and then you want to create a UI stroke if you want this uh, white border right there. And then uh, you just want to copy the properties I have right here. And once you have set all these properties or uh, these uh, properties of the UI stroke, you want to create a local script inside the text label. And you want to open up that local script. Now this is uh, might look like a lot of code, but it should take less than like two seconds to write down. So uh, right here we have the local label equals script. So the script right here, dot parent. And then we have, uh, again, RS and status to get the actual status or applicated storage. We already looked at this. We already know what these two lines of code do if you've been uh, following along. And then we have a function. So what a function allows us to do is do something over and over again. And basically what we're doing here is setting the label dot text property and we're setting it to the status dot value. So if you remember in the script right here, we set the status dot value and now we are setting the label dot text to the statuses value. And right here, we are calling the function in one time before the game's uh, before anything uh, changes, just so it looks uh, good. And the example text can go away that we have it set to right now. And then after that, we are making it so that when the status is changed, so every time, so every one second, as we set here, at every one second, it's going to run the function. And as you can see, what it's doing here is updating the status value, and then the local script is changing the text. So as you can see, it's updating the status value and the local script is changing the text. For example, if I were to click on this and make it uh, something else, as you can see, it's going to update. If I just, there you go, it was there for a second. And then obviously it's uh, updating every one second. So I went back, but that's basically how it works. And every uh, one second, it's going to change based on the scripts we made. But yeah, guys, if you have any questions, make sure to join the Discord and ask me. Maybe you're uh, good to ping me and DM me if you need any help. And uh, if, uh, you can also use the YouTube comments. Uh, I always respond like within five minutes if I'm not busy. But yeah, other than that, guys, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.